3rd of October 2022. Welcome back to my cosy corner of the internet. Here, I select a tarot deck each week from my extensive collection to elucidate the ethers and scry the shifting celestial tides on behalf of the collective. These readings are not aimed at any particular person and you are meant to find them at the time their guidance is most relevant to you. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. My musings are intended to inspire, uplift and guide you on your healing journey. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and share this page with your friends. Listen to the end for my recommendations for your next step. And because your engagement really helps me out, if you like, share, subscribe or comment today, I hope and intend that you will be blessed with bountiful beneficence this week. May brilliance, beauty and abundance abound. I've chosen the Tarot of Mermaids for our medium today. This is a Rider Waite style deck, but with all the traditional cards in an underwater landscape with mermaids reflecting the characters. These are a perfect deck to reach for when working with Lemurian or water-based energy. So sit back, relax your shoulders, take a sip of chamomile tea, exhale deeply, and let's explore. The dominant energetic influence we can tap into over the coming week for the purpose of progressing the spiritual journey and pursuing the path to wholeness is reflected in the Three of Cups. In this position, things couldn't be better. Occasions to celebrate and share good news with friends and family are heading your way this week. The Three of Cups points to success and an increase in happiness and hope. Maintaining a positive attitude will help you to recognize the brilliance and blessings around you. A grateful heart will help you to draw power and healing from the good times that propel you towards new opportunities. The second card identifies the potential opposition we may face in pursuit of the promises of the first card. And this week, this comes in the form of the Nine of Wands. This is in no way a negative card, but in this position we're dealing with the shadowed aspect of the archetype. The presence of this card warns us that fear or rigidity could block us from recognizing the demonstrations of abundance around us. If you notice your thoughts seem more aligned with your past than your future, set aside some time for meditation, relaxation and consideration to get yourself back on track. If you draw all your beliefs, feelings and thoughts from the past, then your future will be a recreation of the past. If that's not your goal, it's time to recalibrate. And now we turn to the daily cards for the week ahead. These cards depict and define the archetypal energetic influences we can harness to optimize our personal power and increase our inspiration in the coming days. Monday, Page of Wands. It's time to get excited about the future. Visualize the life of your dreams and invest your energetic creation with passion and promise. See yourself smile with satisfaction as you drive in the direction of a desirable destiny. The universe reminds you that thoughts become things. So control your mind. Affirm, I am open to a life of prosperity and progress. Tuesday. Ace of Wands. Be ready to act because today presents portals of promise to enchant and inspire you. Keep your eyes open for repeating symbols and numbers. Increase your authentic soul expression by putting your energy into the things that make your heart smile. The universe reminds you that you are supported and loved for all you are. Affirm, my life is the story of my soul. Wednesday, Page of Swords. Where you place your attention, you place your energy. Be attentive to your thoughts and temper your judgments. Negative self-talk is a self-inflicted curse. Identify the ideas that propagate lack and limitation and supplant them with ideas of abundance 
and authenticity. The universe reminds you that fear is the enemy of love. Affirm, in all things and in all ways, I choose love. Thursday, the hanged man. Set yourself apart from the drama and take some time for self-care, energy healing, meditation or yoga. Create a sacred and soothing sanctuary where you can nourish your soul and catch up with yourself. The universe reminds you that you are loved beyond your wildest dreams by the source of your spirit. Affirm, my soul is a source of tranquility and triumph. Friday, the world. Everything's coming together and you're at the centre of it. Appreciate the magic and majesty that surrounds you and recognise the part you played in creating a life you love. Give yourself a round of applause and the universe will echo that. The universe reminds you that your inner light has a divine source. Affirm, I am always aligned with abundance and authenticity. Saturday, Eight of Pentacles. Keep up the good work. Practice makes perfect and you're well on your way to success. Be methodical and remember that slow and steady wins the race. Cultivate curiosity and learning something new becomes an adventure. The universe reminds you that you're an extraordinary person, just like everyone else. Affirm. I am prospered and protected by limitless light and love. Sunday, Six of Pentacles. Express thanks for all you have, all you are, and all the potential of your shining soul. Gratitude paves the path to peace and plenty. Open your heart to joy by recognizing the magnificence and miracles around you. The universe reminds you that everything in the universe is within you. Affirm, bounteous blessings burgeon and bloom. I rise, I rise, I rise. This concludes our mystical musings for the week ahead. If you feel drawn to pursue your spiritual path and progress your healing journey with energy work, you can find over a hundred attunement-based energy healing courses on the MayaStar website at www.mayastar.net. I provide individual support by email for all students and personally prepare all attunements using the Orb of Life method, which allows my students to receive them wherever they are in the world. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. On this channel I share my week ahead spiritual guidance and mystical musings for the collective, meditation soundscapes and energy healing articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. Why not take a moment to peruse the rest of this channel to discover more of my energy healing articles and relaxing meditations for some additional spiritual sustenance and magical motivation. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll find a great video recommendation for your next step in the cards at the end of this video. You can also follow me to receive daily spiritual guidance on my social media. You'll find links in the description of this video for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, podcast and more. Links to all my latest offerings can be found on the MyStar website at www.myastar.net. I upload inspiring spiritual content for you three times a week, so please come back soon. With blessings.